The binding is the outer covering of a book that protects and holds together the pages inside. Today's mass-produced books are bound in paper or a stiff cardboard or cloth or perhaps leather if you're lucky. Leather was the binding of necessity from the Middle Ages until the 19th century when cloth coverings were introduced. Books were valuable objects and they were built to last. But bookbinders and publishers have been highly creative over the years and produced many unusual book bindings. Take snakeskin for example, or don't if you don't like the idea of a book covered in python or cobra. Fans of fine art might enjoy these books with miniature portraits inserted into the bindings, so-called Cosway bindings. You can even find irony in a binding. Special editions of Fahrenheit 451 and Stephen King's Firestarter have been bound in fireproof asbestos material. Diamonds are forever, especially when they're placed into a binding. Master bookbinders have long embedded precious jewels into bindings for their wealthiest customers. Various metals have been used too, including aluminium, or aluminium if you prefer, and also silver. You can find books covered in paper mache, tartan, mother of pearl, and there might be a few people who will get a kick out of a latex bound book. But the weirdest book binding of all is human skin. Anthropodermic book coverings were used from the 17th century until the end of the Victorian era. Apparently, a book bound in Tom, Dick or Harry has a distinct waxy smell. No. Many medical texts were bound in human skin, perhaps because the medical community had easy access to dead bodies. But the skins of executed criminals were also used. The original Facebook, perhaps. You can find examples of books bound in human skin at the Mutter Hall Museum at the College of Physicians in Philadelphia the Bancroft Library in Berkeley, Brown University in Providence, Edinburgh's Surgeons Hall Museum, and also in the National Library of Australia.